Well, some friends of mine were out last night and uh, came around to mine on the way and we were just talking and another gentleman in the pub came over to us and joined our table because he was feeling a bit lonely I suspect and he came out with something that we found quite stunning and very believable and that is, what is the reason behind immigration? Every country, well, every Western country, is attracting immigrants like there's no tomorrow. Every Western country is encouraging immigration. It's allowing immigrants to settle from all over the world. Not just one place, not just a country which they have good relationships with, but from everywhere. And this has puzzled me for a little while. And this guy, who we'll call Ted, um, he actually had an explanation for this. And this is fairly unbelievable at first light, and we certainly took the mickey a bit. And that is that immigration is because of depopulation. And at first, you know, that seems ludicrous. If you want to depopulate the planet, why would you have people mixing and intermingling from all different countries? But when you look deeper into it, it makes an awful lot of sense. If indeed there is a plan to depopulate, which I think there is, there's just too many official publications detailing the fact that depopulation is wanted, and there's some other indicators as well, which I'll go through in a moment. But if there is a plan to depopulate, then there are some very sound reasons for encouraging genetic diversity in every country. So let's go through some of those reasons. Just subscribe. I did. So there is evidence, genetic evidence, that shows that at one point there may have only been 2,000 human beings alive. Now if there have been any other major disasters or conflicts or diseases then we simply, as this BBC article points out, would not be here. Now This basically means that with a small population that is not very genetically diverse then you will get a contraction of the gene pool which makes the survivors more vulnerable. And the human gene pool compared to other animals is not very genetically diverse. I mean, okay, we've got different races, but we do all kind of look the same. Whereas if you look at some other animal species, they have huge differences, and the animals in one area look totally different to any other area, regardless of the fact that they're all the same species. So, immigration would avoid this by increasing the genetic diversity in every country so that should the worst happen and it's obvious now that politicians are expecting the worst to happen then we would survive as a race. Now I received evidence recently in uh, the form of a document sent to me by somebody unknown in Brazil that 
When humanity was in Turkey a long time ago, and we're talking 10,000 years plus, there was a similar disaster and shelters were prepared. Does this sound familiar? And in this, they blame these, um, for the construction of these shelters on Hittite armies and all the rest of it. However, some of them are very, very deep. And there are 36 of these underground cities in northern Turkey, which is, they're quite fascinating places. I would love to go and see one, you know? So, yeah. Derin Kuyu is an example. And this is a very deep underground city. It has almost gas tight rolling doors that roll across and seal any passage that goes to the outside. Now, <laughs> why go to the trouble of creating these almost gas tight doors if you're defending against an army it doesn't make sense um, the whole place is huge it's estimated that 20,000 people would be able to live down there and these documents suggest that this has happened before that population reduction was attempted before and it went wrong too many people died and the human race very nearly didn't recover from it. Now the Chinese at the moment are building underground cities and shelters for their population like there is no tomorrow, as are the Russians. And there's underground cities in various other places around the world not to mention the rumours of underground cities here we go Kishin and Iran there's caves that they use like that Cappadocia which we've already looked Burlington which used to be the um, underground HQ for the Ministry of Defence in the UK and is now a place of extreme mystery because it still hasn't been there's areas of it that still haven't been declassified so we've got these underground cities all over the world and there's new ones being built according to internet rumor and i'm not going to put too much stock on internet rumor and we've all heard about other preparations that are going on for some extreme event or other. So what we're really talking about is that those who have control over us, um, whoever they may be, the Order or Illuminati or whatever, they actually have a plan and that plan is depopulation and the means that they have chosen and I get this from a document that I received that some of you would have seen um, a video about on my channel the means that they have chosen is not a controlled depopulation the means that they have chosen is natural depopulation now if you take some rats and you lock them up in a box. Once you get over a threshold number of rats, then all the rats fight. And all the rats start killing each other off. And that is what is planned for humanity. There is no current population control anywhere on the planet apart from China. And the Chinese experiment, due to corruption, has failed. Failed miserably. Their population has expanded. So, 
You see the elites building themselves shelters against war. But they know that this is not enough. They know from historical genetics that if things go badly wrong with their unplanned depopulation, then humanity might be well might well be down to only those that are left in the shelters in many countries. Not every country. Even if there was a massive nuclear war, the entire Earth would not be rendered depopulated. Now that is a, a, a myth that was put about. In fact, nuclear weapons, yeah, they're fearsome, they're scary, but they're not as effective as was once thought. And you only need to look at the survivors from near Grand Zero in Hiroshima who are still alive in their 90s. And there are a few of those. To confirm this, they haven't died of cancer. They haven't killed over with any other ailment. They're in their 90s, which is a good old age for anybody, given the current state of medical development. And they are quite simply quite healthy old people. Yet they were within five miles of a nuclear explosion. And a large nuclear explosion at that. So survivors are to be expected. But if there is widespread devastation, then other things come into play. Disease, availability of food, availability of drinking water and so on. So things could easily spiral out of control. And so there are, are other pointers as well to these preparations and that is the establishment of at least three seed banks that we know about containing every known food plant. Why do this if you're not expecting something really catastrophic to happen? So, this is it. And this is what I'm saying. The reason for immigration is depopulation. Well, if you found this useful or informative, then please like, subscribe and share especially on Facebook. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Go and casual, actual, but classic.